You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, TK no. wants to know, do you recommend using Google Guarantee and AdWords at the same time? You can, certainly, because the Google Guarantee is sort of a, you know, get as many leads as you can, but after three months, you're going to pretty much know your, your average. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of seasonality. There may be a little bit, but you're going to know that you're getting approximately one lead a day, maybe mm -hmm. two, whatever your average is. Then it really becomes, okay, how many more leads do I need? So let's say you, you needed a total of 20 leads a week. Okay, and you needed four phone calls a day. Mm -hmm. And you're getting one of those phone calls through Google Local, Google LSAs. Well, now you know you need three more. Well, there's nothing really in Google LSAs to get you three more. That's where Google AdWords would come in. You create a campaign and a budget that aims for those other three phone calls. Now, the first phone call was 25 bucks. The next ones might be 50 or right. 40, but bottom line is your trucks are on the road. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And guys, this, this is the time, you know, of course you're gonna be focused on those. Um, yeah, it's, you know, with, with the AdWords, you're gonna, you wanna, you know, I, I would, you know, we, we talked about this and we, mm -hmm. wanted to, we would recommend during this time with, mm -hmm. with our clients to, to run both. Um, it is getting a feel for the market. Yeah, I mean, that's what feel, I mean. Yeah. It, it's not you know, with market the market. Works great. And you got yeah, and you got to watch it, guys. You got to be on this kind of stuff daily, mm -hmm. certainly during these times, which is just that's just the trade off right now. Right. Okay. But these are ways you can make the phone ring and gain. You can gain ground. Okay. This is mm -hmm. time. This is an opportunity to take ground yep. with these kinds of things and brand. This is a key thing. I love Lauren that you brought up with the remarketing that you're looking to do that. I, I love a couple things about it. First of all, it is a very in expensive way gang to to um, to advertise mm -hmm. to someone to pretty warm leads they already were on your site I mean so they've been tagged you know they they, they have a, a cookie that now follows them around them um, the web so for those of you we, we hear from our Lauren we hear from our clients we do this we do the remarketing mm -hmm. and, and so we have people say we see you everywhere you're following me around because Good. we remarketed yeah. you because you've come to <laughs> our our page you checked out um, you know you've gotten something um, you know watch. and so now we're following you around wherever, mm -hmm. wherever you go mm -hmm. and it's a very 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 inexpensive thing to do so highly recommend it um, to brand for your plumbing business right now Wait, tons of questions coming right. in guys and I just want to follow yeah. finish one more thing okay, on sorry. the remarketing yes. I love uh, how how search Kings how you guys did this we're here to help as opposed to um, these are scary times and we understand you may be nervous and, and we can show you through. Mm -hmm. It was more out of um, there's a positive feel mm -hmm. to, to that whole approach. Mm -hmm. And so I, I love how, how you took that approach um, because that's what I, I recommend for, for our people to do, yeah. um, to have a that's more positive awesome. voice. So mm -hmm. And I don't know, Laura, if you can show the hiring ones, that might also give a little oh, bit yeah. of an indication. I love your call of always be hiring. Mm -hmm. um, that yeah. would be another place where you say, okay, this is what I'm going to send out into my community that we are hiring and splash it everywhere. Um, so always um, looking for good guys, guys. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because you're, and with that, mm -hmm. because Lauren, here's a great opportunity. It's like dual, it's dual marketing. You're both, you're telling your customers, potential customers that we only hire good guys. We, we hire great, you know, great guys, mm -hmm. uh, you know, great service techs. Right. At the same time, you're looking for a guy, letting them know, building this culture that we're always recruiting, you know, great guys. Always yeah. recruiting. Yep. And it means you're doing good work and you're busy in the neighborhood. Exactly. exactly. Right. 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 Um, okay, christy has got a question. Other than responsiveness and reviews, any tips on moving into the top two results? I know they're dying right now. They're, I think they're at three. Sitting at three. So if I'm, if I remember or... Uh, pull it up quickly enough. Uh, Christy, I think you're in Amarillo, Texas, correct? Amarillo, Amarillo by morning. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes. So we have a song for all of every single um, audience member. We have a song for uh -huh. them. So just. Oh, that's awesome. It's like a handshake. That's yeah. great. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's something. Real quick, <laughs> the, your um, location on Google My Business, Christy, wherever that fixed location is, that's the other ranking factor is the location of your office. So are there any tips in moving into the top two results? Yes. 
there are many companies who have more than one office. Mm -hmm. And if you have more than one office, you have more than one Google My Business page. If you have more than one Google My Business page, you can have more than one Google LSA account for multiple locations. And Nick, you can only have Google My Business page if you actually have locations where people work from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. You have to prove you don't that's want to get location. into a spot where you don't want to be fraudulent with Google My Business pages because they'll just wipe you out. Yeah. You know, this, this isn't is one truck, Chuck. This is a million dollar. You guys are class, mm -hmm. right? Like you're the top mm -hmm. of the heap. Right. You don't. Yeah, guys. You pay. You pay your taxes. Pay taxes. Don't. In our here's how we say it here in the U.S. Lauren, we, you know, don't mess with Uncle Sam and his nieces and nephews. That's the states, okay? All right, pay your taxes, all right, and and don't uh, don't mess with Google. Don't tick off. Okay, Google. don't tick off Google. Yeah. <laughs> don't tick off yeah. the, the six hundred pound gorilla, sixteen hundred pound gorilla. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so um, Leslie says, if we have multiple GMBs, do we need multiple LSAs? You, you, there's no harm in having multiple LSAs if you have multiple legitimate GMBs. And lastly, I could show you some examples of, of plumbers that we've done that with who cover a major metro with three or four branches. Mm -hmm. And when you have branches, now the northeast part of, of your market, you can focus you know, northeast Oklahoma City with that location. What you're not supposed to do is uh, cross your marketing so that you're targeting the same zip code with two. Mm -hmm. But we can walk you through that. Okay. Okay. Um, see, Chrissy said, does a review from LSA platform carry more weight than just a GMB review? No evidence of that at all. I would say okay. at the beginning, 2017, we were trying to determine the value of verified Google LSA reviews. We went to Google. We didn't get any evidence at all that a Google LSA review is more valuable. And the problem is, is that it's such a, the review platform is inside Google LSAs. It's not part of GMB. We would recommend GMBs. Go with GMBs. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, Leslie, we can jump on and start strategizing about what's next for you. Yep. Well, she will be calling you at and guys, 8 o'clock in the morning. I th this is extremely it. important. If, if, mm -hmm. if, if you're listening to this and for the first time, some of this is sounding new or, um, Maybe it does sound a little scary. Look, I, I, I'm going to admit, GMB, LSA, Lauren, I'm going to admit blah, blah. that I'm not the techie one. Okay. Um, thank God cute. that I had the lovely Laura mm -hmm. or I, I'd, I'd be the hundred dollar plumber. Okay. <laughs> 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 I would be the Chuck in a truck. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, still in the truck. Um, j just um, so I can understand. So I'll, you know, look, if this sounds a little, it could be a little scary for you guys out there. Mm -hmm. Look, you don't have to be, you don't have to be an expert at this. Okay. Right. You have the experts here, mm -hmm. but would say this, if you're serious about growing your plumbing business into an asset that provides security, okay, and, and the freedom lifestyle that you desire for you and your family, all right, you need, this is this is where your customers are at. I mean, this is the phone book now, okay? I'm, let's throw back to my day. This is where, this is where probably over 80% of the customers Google plumbers near me or plumbers, mm -hmm. okay? And you need to show up well in this area, all right? And, and so you need someone like Search Kings here. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously we highly recommend Search Kings. Uh, they, they are the, the player, all right, in the industry. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, obviously, you know, there's others out there. Okay. Um, but, but the, these guys are good. One reason I love you guys, I'm going to admit, uh, mm -hmm. Lauren, right. uh, one thing we love about you, not only cause you're great guys, all right, to deal with, um, uh, but your flat rate and anyone who knows who watches the million dollar plumber, we, we, we under our customers understand it's a flat rate world. Mm -hmm. People understand that. And so what I, what makes it easy for me again is when I have search Kings telling me, you know, it's X amount just to manage your, you know, manage your account and it's the same every month. And then whatever you spend on this or that, it all goes a hundred percent to that. Not that, well, you know, we take 4% of this and 5% and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I get lost in that. It was just, I love the way, way you guys do business. So absolutely. So, hey, um, tons of questions coming in guys. Um, let's see. Christy, no, Matt Carter say, will it help? And Matt Carter, he knows his LSAs, uh, Carter Plumbing in Bloomfield, Michigan. Um, they do a really good job. He's asking, will it hurt my top position on LSA when I have to turn it off because we can't keep up? Oh, don't turn, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let the, let, let, let the expert answer. I think he's answer. asking I'm sorry. for confirmation, but okay. go ahead. Okay. So uh, strategy, I'll leave to Richard. Mm -hmm. Technically, yeah. if you turn it off, it should not hurt your ranking but you want to watch your responsiveness ranking. So that number to say Google sees me as a 76%, mm -hmm. 
that shouldn't go down because you turn it off because you're not missing calls. Responsiveness mm -hmm. ranking is really driven by missing calls. So no, it should not hurt you to turn it off. Okay. But okay. customers are out there and I mean, in your market, Matt, it might be $24 a phone call for people who are calling you in, in the moment of need, so. Mm. Okay, because we have heard to, to yeah. not turn it on or off, but rather raise and lower um, your bid amount. As opposed to or your spend off. amount, your, your spend day. amount, yeah. Ah, uh, your budget, right. yeah. Budget, we have seen no correlation between budget and actual lead volume. Really? Yeah, not at all. We used to try to prove that it was relevant. We have mm -hmm. not produced that correlation in our data. Really? Um, yeah. Okay. So the on and off, we've been told, it has no effect. It's hard to know because currently we don't have an API to know when customers turn off or on. So mm -hmm. once we have that and we're working on it, once we have that technology, then we'll be able mm -hmm. to make correlations between ads to turning on and off, between the responsiveness ranking. So just know, you know, this relationship with you guys is well over a year old. We anticipate over the next six months for there to be even more in Google LSAs for us to do um, with ranking calls and understanding call quality. So we will be on hopefully in the next three months, giving you an update on what we can now do with Google LSAs. Perfect. Okay, that would, that'll be great. That'll be great. Okay, Dwayne right. um, Goodpasture out of Ohio wants to know, is this geared more towards new business? So Dwayne, I'm assuming then you're not um, Google guaranteed. That's, I'm going to make that assumption. So what say you, Lauren? We we would say every business needs to be Google oh, guaranteed. It's like every business Google. needed to be in the yellow pages. Yes. Right. Dwayne, and I'll, I'll speak, right, because um, I'll speak to this. What we can get is get comfortable with, we especially um, good businesses like uh, Dwayne's, uh, uh, good pastors um, ha have a great, what is it? All drains. All drains, yeah, they're killer. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're long established, uh, a, a great name and a brand uh, within the community. So they, they are known, Lauren. So we know we have those kind of companies that are known. But, but here, here's the thing. Um, there's new people coming all along. And so it's just healthy, it's just more secure for your business to be where majority of people are looking for someone to clean their drain, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so I would highly recommend, Wayne, highly recommend, brother. Highly recommend, okay? Dwayne. If, to I, type if I was there in teams. front of you, I'd put, I'd put your, my hands on your big shoulders and say, <laughs> all right, hey, get, get with Search Kings here. Type um, in Kings right type, now. Type, right. type it in. And uh, mm. it, it's We'll it's make well it painless, it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, right. Make it painless. You, you need to show up. You you put that showing up with um, you know, with your good name. Um, you know, so this all works together for good, um, which all equals security. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to make um, our businesses as secure as possible, especially in times like these. Right. Okay, because this this time's gonna come again. These times, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's it, you know, you have economic booms and you have economic, you know, downturns, downturns, and yep. we're in economic downturn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So this all works for good. Yep. yep. Um, let's see. Nick Marcel is asking, what if an employee's house is where they're dispatched from? So I'm assuming you're um, asking if they can be a GMB listing or an LSA listing. What do you say to that, Lauren? Yeah. You know, I would have to have a conversation with you to understand, but basically hmm. you would deal with Google My Business on your own. Google My Business isn't um, a partner program. So you would deal with them, you would show them proof of office space and you know fixed address, et cetera. If you have a GMB, then we can use that. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I guess same question I, um, from Chad, Chad Collins, um, out of Pride Plumbing from Grand Junction, Colorado. Can you use your home as a location um, if it's a different zip code? Again, it's you getting approved by Google, but but mm -hmm. is legitimate work happening there? Because mm -hmm. you know, if Google has questions and then they determine, you know what, we need to do a um, a FaceTime or Google Hangout, and we want to see it, you yeah. could be in some trouble there, and you don't want to be on the wrong side. So or, go or Google calls mm -hmm. and yeah. says, do you, do you have a red mailbox out, outside your window? <laughs> And and your gal says no, no. Then that area of town when you when you had just a little, basically a, a closet office, so that mm. you had the space that you yeah. could say you could advertise or whatever through Google, be recognized as Google. They shut it down. Gone. Okay, it's yep. gone. Okay. Gone. Right. Long gone. Yep. Um, let's see. Um, Carmen. Carmen is saying it's super confusing. Now, Carmen, 
Carmen, I know Carmen's been in business for just under or over a year in that time frame. Um, so mm -hmm. I know this is all new to you. Carmen, seriously, type in Kings right now because you need to talk with these guys. Um, yeah. This doesn't have to be confusing. And once you get it, it, it really is a piece of cake, right, guys? And, right. I, I would assume that Matt Carter would say the same and, right. and Leslie, Christy, maybe not a piece of cake, but you certainly can understand. And Carmen, I'm going to say just because I, if I can get it, brother, <laughs> you can get it, okay? And I mean that, okay? So don't back off of this because it does sound a little scary or, you know, confusing. Mm -hmm. And guys, guys, I'm going to admit, guys, we don't like confusing because that makes us feel silly, okay? Or, you know, less intelligent, less in control, and those kinds of things, and especially during these times when we're having control taken from us, where we, we're told we gotta stay in our house and that kind of stuff. You know, we're trying to hold on to as many things that we do have actual control over, right? And so in this area, um, you may not feel like you have control, but now is the time to get control in this area. So, um, Carmen, don't back off. Mm -hmm. Type um, type Kings in the comments. Kings. Get with Search Kings here. Them. Okay, mm -hmm. um, this is something that if you really are looking to grow your plumbing business, um, at, you know, at a minimum, you want to be more secure yes. within your plumbing business. Look, uh, yeah, you need to be here. Okay, uh, Carmen, you've got to get Google guaranteed. I mean, you yep. just have to. Right. With, if nothing else, you've got to get Google guaranteed. Right. It's a chance to, you know, we always hear, well, I can't compete with the big guys. This uh, is the way to compete th with This them. makes it a, a level playing field. Level. You, you just mm -hmm. have to do it Google's way. And Google makes it possible for the little guys to do the same thing the big guys do. In fact, Lauren, yes. I know I'm, I'm, I don't mean to steal their time here, the thunder, but what I see is that the big guys aren't as focused on this kind of stuff. They kind of, there's an opportunity for us to move quicker mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, be, be more focused on this kind of stuff, take advantage of these times um, that the big guys aren't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll say this, the big guys sometimes don't have the best person answering the phone quickly. Mm -hmm. That sounds like they're connected and can answer questions and right. help the customer. And to answer Dwayne, I see that there, do you yeah. pay for your ranking? The answer is no. no. So the ranking is essentially earned through customer experience, mm -hmm. Google right. reviews, phone calls. I'll, uh, I have time Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the, what is that, the, the first? midday i have no problem working through this with you guys it uh there's a lot of things foreign to me and i'm certainly when my uh toilet starts running and i have no clue why i'm not trying to do it i'm not going to try yeah. to do it myself so <laughs> I, I hear you right and, and dwayne um and guys on this i'm huge on this pay to play thing mm -hmm. i i'm so i am overly freaking sensitive on this pay to play thing that's mm -hmm. why i don't like angie's list because it is, I mean, I'm just gonna say it is pay to play. I don't like Home Advisor because it is pay pay to play. I don't like mm -hmm. Yelp because it is pay to play. I'm talking from a business business perspective. Mm -hmm. I don't like working for commercial clients because you are paying one way or another. Right. Okay, you are paying. Okay, I don't like um, I don't like doing new construction because you are paying somebody to be able to get the work. Okay, mm -hmm. um, indirectly or whatever. So, mm -hmm. but with Google, hey, they, they are the you know they're the big guy. Whether yep. we feel like they're taking over the world or whatever, it doesn't you know it really doesn't matter. Um, but they really have it set up to make it where a little guy can compete with the big guy. Yep. The key is, and I will strongly suggest this, uh, is first of all, to have an expert, you know, use like the experts like Search Kings, okay? And then just to make sure you, you play their game. Because if you don't play their game their way, and this is coming from a guy who likes to work in the gray, I like to push the lines, okay? <laughs> all right, you don't push the Google lines, okay? You, you play within their lines, mm -hmm. they, they treat you well, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, yep, and let's see, Matt Carter, again, Matt Carter Plumbing, um, $24 per call. That's just amazing how cheap that is. Um, adds up quick when uh, we can't keep up. We had 48 leads on Saturday. 48 leads? Wow. Yeah. What in the world? You guys, Saturday on a Saturday during a pandemic. Right. <laughs> and the zombies are out and everybody's rain? dying. Rain? Right. Was it rain? What was yeah, going on what out was, there? Yeah, Matt, yeah. what's going on? Because I, I don't, there wasn't snow. Again, they're in Michigan, so, right. but I don't think they're going to have, I have no idea. Other than he, hit, Carter Plumbing was on the front page of their local news, newspaper, right. so there was that. They might, they might, you've been doing some good, so maybe the good was coming something. back your way, which we talk about, right? Mm -hmm. Carter yeah. Plumbing should be remarketing right now. They should be. Because people are visiting them, and they should remind of those people for the next two months. Yes. Exactly right. That's it's right. That. Yes. Um, let's see, Seize those opportunities, right? Definitely, yep. definitely.